as art people and, and with ILM and, and all those companies that really sort of pushed it to another level and I think ultimately it worked. I've never been a big fan of CG movies. There's always that issue of the CG work not really embedding itself well into the action. And Transformers was one of the first films that I thought really blended fantastically well. They did a phenomenal job. I didn't see it coming, and it blew up, and it was a huge success. It was far surpassed my expectations of what it was going to be. I think we were all caught off guard a little bit. You know, when you first saw the film, you knew Michael had done something special with the idea. But you can never anticipate how the audience is going to react. And the fact that not only did they react so positively initially, but over time, the anecdotal evidence of how much they love it is so clear to all of us. Whether it's kids coming up to you, or whether it's parents, or you know anybody, it's amazing to me the number of people who today still talk about it like it was just released a few months ago. I think everybody knew it was going to be popular, but to that degree, no, I don't think anyone could have foreseen how um, massively successful it was. Making the first one, I thought for sure there would not be a second one, but after it came out and it made so much money, all of this obviously set back and said, okay, when is the second one coming around? Originally, we did struggle. We didn't have an, uh, a story in our heads of exactly what story to tell. And we had a writer's strike pending. You know, the Writers Guild was, was going on strike and you know, so that made it pretty tricky. And, and the original um, writers, Bob and Alex, said, look, we'd love to do this. We love this property. We don't really know what the next story should be. We hesitated on doing the movie for a while because we needed that big idea that made the movie feel really worth doing. And one of the things that we, we found in looking through the lore and also in asking ourselves what sequels we loved as kids, um, was the fact that there's literally a chapter in the Transformers book that talks about the 20 years of Transformers uh, called The Many Lives and Deaths of Optimus Prime. And it struck us that if we were able to do something as horrific as kill Optimus Prime, pin the responsibility of that on Sam's shoulders, it would really fuel his quest as a hero to make right to the mistake that he had made. And we also knew that if we could make the resurrection of Optimus Prime be an incredible journey that required putting pieces together, if we get the audience to the end of that journey, they would be so satisfied because experiencing both the loss of this character that you love and then bringing him back to life would be so uplifting that it felt like the perfect place to get to in the third act. And that's how we ended up coming to the idea of, of doing that. But we knew the strike was looming and that there was a, a finite period of time that we were gonna have to develop the story, then we were gonna have to stop, and then the minute the strike was over, we were gonna have to bang through the script very, very fast. And it felt like a pretty daunting prospect. So we said to the studio that um, we really needed to bring in someone else to be able to, to deliver on the timeline that they wanted it done by. When it was unclear whether they were gonna be able to uh, work on the sequel, um, I got a call from DreamWorks asking if I had any interest in working on the sequel. And I said, well, I did. Uh, but I thought Alex and Bob might be writing it. And uh, they said, well, we're not sure if we're going to be writing it. By all means, go ahead and take the meetings on, on the project. And by the end of it all, Alex and Bob and I had all decided that the way we could make this work was to all write on it together. Well, at the very beginning, Alex, you know, Alex Kurtzman and Bob Orsi and Aaron Kruger uh, sat down with myself and Lorenzo Bonaventura and certainly Michael Bay to try to figure out where we go from here. We started out at the very beginning with Michael saying that he wanted this movie to be an adventure. He wanted to go places with the story. I was just instantly drawn to the idea of they've been here a long time. I'm like, let's start looking at some of the big monuments. So we began with looking at a lot of archaeological sites and you know within a, just a few weeks Michael sort of settled in on Egypt and on Jordan and just on the tremendous history of human civilization that that part of the world embodies and uh, he felt like it would be really representative of the 